Hi Taurus, welcome to Tarot Alignment with Melanie. We are doing a new type of reading. This reading is a love reading and let's see, it's the way ahead spread. So I'm trying to, you know, try out different spreads and trying to, you know, mix it up a bit because everybody looks the same. So let's try something new, right? Okay, so it's four cards. The first card is you already know this, you have this. Second card is you can do this well. Third card is this is new. And fourth card is this is what you can learn mm -hmm. from this. All right, that sounds pretty awesome to me. Okay, let's put the, car the camera down so you can see the cards. And let's go for it. One, two, three. All right. Uh, first card out. Let's see what it says. Oh, hi, Empress. So, Taurus, you are just... One thing about high Empress is that if you look at this, she's got this orb, you know, saddled above her head. And that is, like, high enlightenment. She has been blessed with complete knowledge of the world and, and she hold, beholds all the knowledge of the world and then she uh, she understands the yang and the yangs of life so she's enlightened and she's a very quiet person um, this male or female don't let the um, word high priestess scare you but that is what you already know you already know that you're this smart basically okay and this is what you can do well. And uh, that is the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, new beginnings, uh, love. Um, and you've got clouds here. So you have like this divine, your, your directions are motivated by a higher power within yourself when you make offers or decisions. And it's very balanced, it's very loving, it's very kind. That's what you do very well. And you have the dove above you. So you make these decisions after long contemplations. And so that is good. So this is what's new. Oh, okay. What's new is a little bit of anxiety. So you may be going through some sort of anxiety right now. But this is a love reading. So this could be, there's a lot of gray. So... Ah, this is what we can learn from this. Oh, King of Swords. Why not? Yeah. King of Swords is strong-willed. Um, strong-willed uh, accountant type. Um, uh, nothing but the facts kind of thing. But one thing is that this... Um, see, he has the two moons on either side. And he's got the butterfly in the middle there. Now that signifies that he holds, you know, very strong opinions and he's a very strong person, but there is a room for growth. There's room from turning a moth into a butterfly. So when he's surrounded by all these butterflies and earth and um, flying, um, so you're, and he's got clouds again. So he's very, and he's got mountains. No, those are clouds, more clouds. So he's able to like cut to the chase, cut to the truth. And I think that's what this high priestess and, you know, balancing this reading out is, is you're cutting through the truth, whatever this situation is. And we're going with a love situation. So we're going to pull some cards to get some clarifications here. Ah, so the problem is an empress who you think is your wish fulfillment um, and you have hot double energy you have like hot you know sexy sexy time with this empress and you like this person a lot and that's what you know that's you have this right now you have this empress you have sexy sexy time this person is your 
uh, wish fulfillment is it's your star. I mean, and it's hot. Um, you do this well. This is the part where you do well. So the part where you do well is that even though you have this person, is that you're still looking at options and putting people like this empress, because this is a pre-empress, kind of on hold. You, you treat them like an option because you're looking at um, your future. You, you, you're not ready for all of this. This might not be what you need right now. You're not ready for that house and home. But we'll find out. Oh, my ear is ringing hard right now. Yeah, you're looking. See, he's standing on his castle. He already has his castle. And he already, ha he's just looking, he's like, he's looking at the world like, you know, what else is, what else can I have? So Taurus, you may have um, to think about that. Is that, are you, I mean, you have everything you want, but you're going for more. It's okay. So this has got you feeling a little anxious. Maybe that this empress is all they're bringing to the table is sexy, sexy, and, and you need more. You need more of that emotional connection. And you're, you know, you can have sexy, sexy all day long, but if you don't have that emotional connection where you can just be happy eating popcorn and Netflix. Okay, so what's coming here, this is new, is that a truth is coming in about another person this is a queen of pentacles very grounded loving caring sharing type person and it's somebody from your past i think in another reading i shared with you that somebody was coming from your past but they didn't have a flame well maybe you're looking at that again and there's going to be some kind of judgment there's some kind of um higher you know thinking that you're really going to be thinking about because see if you look at the sword the truth it's it's a divineness that's coming in and here you have divine again angels this is all angel power and this is a victory you know with someone from your past and um they're, they're waking up Apparently, this person may be looking a little bit more attractive than they were in the past. And so that's that. Okay, so now we've got... That was new. Now, this is what you can learn from this. This King of Swords. This strong-willed man. <laughs> this, this person who just gets to the chase. And remember, you're still embodying this high priestess, this knowing of all. So, but you're coming out as this King of Swords right now. Oh, wow. That, that's a five. That's a five of swords. Ace of Wands. Well, obviously, you know, you've won the victory. You're still holding strong with your wands. And you've got the full. This is a great combination of cards for what you've learned. Okay, so this is you holding, you know, all knowledgeable. You know everything. And you've got a new beginning. And, you know, this is that devil's sexy sword. You can look at that like that. And then it is, um, see, if you look at, he's, the guy is picking up his um, swords and he's just walking away. He's won the battle. He won the battle. So whatever was giving you anxiety and you got a truth, you, you know, from this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles was someone from your past and you were judged, is that you got truth. And you got a new beginning. You got two new beginnings going on. 
you know, in your love life here. So, all right, that's a lot. <coughs> oh, wow. But, you know, I'm all for it. You know, go out and um, I'm drinking like crystal light and it's stuck. Oh. Okay. So that's your, um, your love reading is that Taurus, you are, uh, you have somebody new, you're going to somebody old, uh, an old friend. Um, you're still keeping your options open to what's out there to find what you're looking for. Only you will know what fits for you and you know, time and place for everything. It's the way it all works. All right. <clears throat> okay. I'm trying to keep, I need to get some throat lozenges. All right. Scorpio. <laughs> Taurus. <laughs> this person could be a Scorpio that's coming in or some kind of a water sign. So that might have been a slip for you. So, okay. Well, you have a fantastic day and happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Like and share my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.